All right. What we're doing here is showing you how to hook up a throttle position sensor to an Elderbach carburetor for use with the U.S. Shift transmission controller. The U.S. Shift transmission controller is called the the Quick One, and that's USShift.com. Now it comes with a throttle position controller here, and it comes with this bracket that the throttle position controller mounts to. Now this bracket goes over here and it, it's just an open one. It's designed to, to hook to the stud on a Holly carburetor right here. That bracket's got a hole underneath it. And what happens, it mounts over there with a little lever and it will work easily on a Holly carburetor. But a lot of people say, how do you make it work on an Elderbrock? Well, you can't uh, until now. Unless you brought a like an expensive 200 buck remote throttle position sensor that has a cable and remotes elsewhere and all this sort of thing. But here's a simple way to use what comes in the kit from USShift.com and make it work cheap. So what I did was, here's your throttle bracket that your throttle gas paddle uh, hooks, hooks into like that. Now you notice those brackets come with a slide bar here. This is throttle bracket standard. You get them in auto zones anywhere. So what I did was I took this bracket that came with the throttle position sensor that designed to bolt to the stud on an Elebrock carburetor and I put it under here and locked it down with the two screws so it meant that I can slide this throttle position sensor back or forward and by turning it this way the little inside lever works great because the lever here they're usually a little arm that pushes it on the other side with the elder brock. So what I did is I drilled a hole in the little lever on the throttle position sensor. And you notice you got your screws. You can adjust it like that too. I don't know if you can see all these damn mosquitoes around me. But either way, so I drilled that in there. And I took me a piece of spring uh, material. It's actually a spring, a throttle position spring. And I took this cable because it's strong. It's also got give. And I put it in there. I'm mounting me a little stud here on the bottom of the throttle bracket, right? Now here's where the throttle goes, and the throttle bracket down here, so that when you give it gas, watch it, the throttle position sensor lever moves. Works perfect. No interference. Let me open that choke and do it. See? There you go. So, like I say, you didn't, all I had to get was a spring here, a little stud to put in here, clamp. And there we go. So I just plug my throttle position sensor cable in, and it's done, and it works works great on the Elderbrock carburetor. Simple? Yes. Efficient? Yes. Clever? I'd like to think so. Now, this video is brought to you by Tri5.com. That's T-R-I-F-I-V-E.com. It's a forum that's got 30,000 members. It's free to everyone. We don't accept donations. We don't ask you for stuff, and we don't try to talk you in anything you don't get in junk mail it's just a place for people to like 55 to 57 Chevys to go and share information and so if you're thinking about putting a 4L ADE electronic transmission or 4L60 or whatever and it needs a throttle position sensor on a carburetor and all you got is an Elderbrock which is a fine carburetor then here's a simple way to put a throttle position sensor on one and I hope this video helps some other guys out. Look how aligned that is. It's perfect. I'm not even surprised myself sometimes. Or maybe I just uh, got to get lucky every once in a while. So let me look at it from the side now. By the way, this is a big block in a 57 Chevy. How cool is that? Watch. Can't get no better than that. There's no tension or anything on here. So now we're put our throttle cable back in there alright so the throttle cable comes through here hooks right on the bracket right here so when that pulls that works everything together hope you enjoyed this this is Otis from try5.com